happy birthday to me, happy birthday to me. Hi at YouTube, you're with Got That Funk. I want to thank you all for sticking around and staying subscribed to this channel. Chances are if you're watching this video, you're a subscriber of mine. Anyway, um, as you might have noted from the balloon I just had in front of the camera, today is my 50th birthday. And in anticipation of people saying happy birthday in the comments section, thank you very much. Now, 50 years describes the amount of time that I have existed on this orb. However, um, the universe isn't just time, it's also space. And uh, moving through life, we also move through space. And every year on my birthday, I become a little bit of a math geek and I like to work out just how far I've traveled in the universe. Um, I'm going to leave some of this uh, description down below in the low bar so that if you want to geek out and do your own math and find out your own statistics as a space traveler, you can do so. Um, because of course we're moving around in a circle every day, the Earth spins, right? So you're moving in that sense. The Earth's also moving around the Sun at a constant rate. And of course the solar system is moving around the core of the galaxy at a constant rate. And when you add all that up, it actually works out to quite a large number of miles or kilometers. I chose to work it out in kilometers because it's a bigger number and it sounds more impressive. Call me shallow. Anyway, um, so let's start with the uh, the big numbers first, all right? The solar system moves through the galaxy at 251 kilometers per second. Now that works out to 21,686,400 kilometers per day. Now in my case, 50 years, inclusive of leap years, is 18,263 days. So you multiply 18,263 by 21,686,400 and you write that total down, but we're not done yet. Um, then, the Earth moves around the Sun at 30 kilometers per second, which is 2,592,000 miles, uh, sorry, kilometers per day. You times that by 18,263 days, write that total down, add it to the first, and we're still not done. Now, in my case, I have lived at uh, several different locations on the globe, but for predominantly I spent about 27 years at 38 degrees latitude and 23 years at approximately 51 degrees latitude. Now the, um, in a 24-hour period as the Earth spins, 51 degrees latitude has a rotational circumference of 25,271 kilometers. So I times that by 8,400 days, which is the 23 years that I've lived at that latitude, and I get a certain number, I write it down, add it to the rest. Then the 27 years that I spent at 38 degrees latitude, which is a circumference of 31,620 kilometers, more or less, times 9,862 days, write that total down, add it to the rest, but we're still not done. Because that number is accurate to with it that comes to if you add all that stuff together that comes to 443 billion 920 million 532 thousand and forty kilometers that I've moved through space in my life but of course like ants on a giant jawbreaker we move around on the face of the earth as well my other half was geeky enough to point out that this total I've got so far doesn't include all the motion I've accomplished throughout my life and surely I've traveled tens of thousands or even hundreds of thousands of kilometers in my life and that is so. So even though the number 443920532040 is accurate to within like five or six decimal places and is therefore close enough to perfect when she pointed that out to me, I thought, you know what, I'm going to try and figure that out too. Well, I spent 11 years as a driver, and I put approximately 30,000 kilometers on my car when I used to drive, as an average. So 11 years times 30,000 is 330,000 kilometers, so I write that down. The typical human walks approximately 8 kilometers per day, uh, just getting about their daily routine. Um, assuming that you're not a jogger, which I'm not, or, and so forth. So 8 kilometers a day times 18,263 days is 146,104 kilometers. And other transport, because I haven't had a car for the past 23 years, and obviously my parents drove me around uh, before I was old enough to drive. 
uh, if I sort of make an educated guess about all that, and that wasn't exactly easy, especially when you throw in the air miles that I've flown, I reckon that's about a quarter of a million kilometers because you travel significantly less when you travel by public transport and you don't have your own transportation. So I add the quarter of a million kilometers to the 330,000 kilometers and I add that to the 146,104 kilometers and I get 726,104 kilometers, which I then add to the previous total. And my final statistic, which is as near as perfect as is humanly possible to get in my case as a space traveler, is 443,921,258,144 kilometers, give or take. That should be accurate to within about eight or nine decimal places. So um, if you want to figure out your own space traveler statistics, uh, all the big number stuff is down in the low bar. Just as a quick aside, um, last year when uh, Will Carno died and later my friend Rise One died. Um, I wanted to make videos about it, but uh, I really wasn't in the right place at that time. And as you all will know from watching this channel, I haven't been making very many videos this year. But there's an awful lot of people out in my audience that I have extremely high regard for. And most of you already know who you are. And I couldn't possibly name everybody in a single video. But there's a few that stand out. Um, I want to say that, uh, well, I, I'm going I'm to go off on a little tangent here. I, when, when my daughter was 16, she asked me, Daddy, how do you know when you love someone? And I said to her, well, when someone else's happiness matters to you and you want to add to their happiness and be a part of it, when their unhappiness makes you unhappy, then the chances are you've got some degree of love for that person. You might not be in love with them, but you've got some degree of love for that person when you have that much care for the person. And uh, so with that in mind, I would like to create a new category of love called internet love. And there are some people out there uh, who I have extremely high esteem for and whose happiness does matter to me. And um, so I'd like to name a few of those and thank you all for watching my channel. Um, probably at the top of the list would be Jack Luck 4 and MCOM 2112 very dear friends of mine here on the tubes and uh, a lovely couple uh, Jack Luck and Matt are expecting their first baby together um, very soon and I wish you the best you know I, I think about you guys a lot Tattoo Skin 72 is a dear friend of mine we started making videos around about the same time and I don't see much from him anymore but uh, I, I understand why that is and, uh, you know, Michael, you're like a brother to me. I love you dearly. Um, there's plenty of other people I could name. BTL42, who I miss very much on the tubes. Um, who else? Uh, I want to thank the people who inspired me to start making videos in the first place. And I can tell you that the, the two biggest inspirations which made me get off my butt and buy a webcam was, oh my God, it's Chris and uh, Richard the Dick Coughlin. Uh, just a special message to Richard. If you watch this video, Richard, um, you know, I find myself when I watch your videos, I agree with almost every fucking word you say, which is really frightening to me. Um, uh, and it's also a humbling experience. It's really nice to know that there are other people out there who, who have such similar views. And even though we've never really spoken that much, you know, privately, um, I hold you in extremely high regard. And an awful lot of the way I've tried to run my channel over the years um, is a direct result of how I've observed you and, and the way you handle your channel. So yeah, um, I've had a great time on YouTube. This is not my last video. Uh, I just don't make videos very often, so don't think this is some kind of swan song. But um, you know, I've been very fortunate. My audience has been very engaging with me over the past three, four years. Uh, you know, I had more than 150 responses to, uh, when I asked my viewers to say fuck you to me, I had more than 150 video responses to that, and I, that just made me feel amazing. Uh, when I did the Have You Seen This Man campaign, which was of course before the Draw Muhammad campaign, um, dig dig, uh, you know, I had more than 600 responses to that. I've made a lot of very good acquaintances. My favorite thing about YouTube, in fact, is that uh, 
I, I meet men that I get along with. In my real life, I, I seldom ever meet men that I really click with. But I've met a lot of fellas here on YouTube, uh, both who watch my videos or, and or whose videos I watch, who are more or less around about my age, give or take. And um, I really appreciate the fact that uh, there are other dudes out there in my sort of age group who sort of seem to get it, seem to get me. Um, probably one of my favorite people on YouTube fits that description. His name's Premed2 or Rich. And uh, Rich is incredibly dear to me. Um, he's one of the few people out there who I'm absolutely certain understands every fucking joke I make and every nuance that I try to put in my video in a subtle way. I don't think anything that I've ever done in a video escapes Richard. And uh, I do really admire him. His sense of humor is fucking stunning as well. And he still makes videos occasionally, but uh, I'm not sure if he's everyone's cup of tea. Uh, other people out there that uh, sort of stick out in my memory, Skeleton Mom, Kelico 70, Music Genius Number 1, Weirdness 1, Phoenix Rider 1, Abad Abaddon 5, um, Deep Ashtray, Serious Mind, Chunks of Earth, um, Rose Bush, The Rogue Moon, Nelly Diddle, there's an awful lot of people. I could go on and on and on, seek the visceral, on and on and on. Um, you people, Tommy from the Bronx, Nathan Forrest, uh, I, I, I don't know, I, I, I scour my brain, the Rene Cruz, um, people who keep me thinking as well, like uh, the Naked Atheist. Um, we agree in general terms about lots of things, but we always argue about the minutiae. And I appreciate people who make me think. And uh, last but not least, um, I suppose I'll mention a few of my favorite uh, influences on YouTube. People whose video making skills I admire and look up to. Um, Ghost of Day in Person, uh, Dom One Philosophy, and Phil Hellenes. Um, all three of those individuals I think are in a class all by themselves as regards video making. There's people out there who uh, I'm sure if I knew in real life I would probably like to get to know better. Uh, people like Das American Atheist or ContraPoints. Um, people who I didn't necessarily always see eye to eye with but whose mind I really respect like the Waterman or Copernicus, a Spirit Keeper. Um, people like that. My absolute favorite people on YouTube uh, don't really make videos anymore. Serhan 06, uh, Edible Napalm, The Other Side 100. Layton Way still makes videos, and I enjoy watching him very much. And uh, while I'm thinking of him, I'd also like to say a shout out to Prop MTH, whose good nature and sense of humor and quality of videos are pretty much second to none. So thank you all for being a part of my YouTube experience, and um, I look forward to making more videos, but it's going to be few and far between as it has been for the rest of the year so far. Um, just don't give up on me, alright guys? Thanks for watching this video, and until next time, may all your ups and downs be ups.